in a long mirror drill, this is just a functional training term I'll use a lot is if we're, as we're working this, if we're working to the left, we want to push, push off the back leg, push to the left and then drag it. So we always got cleats in the turf. And, and you'll see that if they're dragging this back foot, well, it'll, it'll throw up like a rubber rooster tail behind it. And it, we want to always be pushing. Like you'll see on the front side here, Riley will stick this foot in the ground. And this is what I, I mean, this is where a good athlete stick it in the ground and he'll redirect back. There is no like double clutch. And I'll show you a couple not so good ones on here too. Are his windows closed? Does he have good posture, right? Not great posture here. If I'm tied into good posture and my elbows are tight, my knees can stay wide. Okay, I can tell you already, you see some windows here, some habits we're really training. Okay, but you see that's, you can see the space in the elbows a lot as he works. See it showing up? It means he's using his arms and his upper body to move, which is why when he gets up, there's the double clutch I'm talking about. Now that's all the space that the lineman needs to beat you to this side. And you see how he's a hair behind on the direction changes. The really good ones, their eyes are right here. Again, their eyes should be right here on that near shoulder. So there's no guessing, but you can tell the guys that have trouble sticking it. And as you watch him go, so this is all stuff we're working through and training and development, man. It's a, it's a five-year process, and then they're just ready to go to the next level and develop. But if the drill's done correctly, he needs to slide back over and square him up. We don't want to give a full half man away. 